There we go. So. There's a little bit of latency between the image in real time, but here I am. Back on the crafting table. Welcome on the stream. So I'm gonna resume uh, building uh, the Viking ship I started uh, a few days ago. So welcome on the stream for any returning subscribers or new newcomer. So I actually built another ship, another base, because I'm doing the tutorial. I'm filming to, to edit a new tutorial on the channel. So I actually redid the first step. Uh, so I now have two uh, bases along with the big one I did a month ago so I'm going to have three ships by the end uh, there you go so uh, hope everything's fine with the image because I see everything with a slight la latency but hopefully the image and the sound uh, are just good Online and then, as I said, I redid some parts to be able to to, to have everything on camera. So I really did. Um, I had already done this for the other ship. It's not finished yet, but got the frame on the ship. There you go. There you go. And I'm actually doing a second one. A second one here. So I'll have two ships, didn't really need two ships, because as you're going to see I'm going to do a kind of modular ship that's going to allow me to, to change the, the head prows of the ships to, to give them and it'll be pretty useful during gameplay just to, to, to switch the, the prow and give the impression that it's another ship, but it's always nice to have two ships, we'll be able to do some battles and it's actually, I won't say it's a quick build, but it's rather easy and once you get the, the drill it's pretty fast these two pieces uh, that I've built the uh, last uh, past days uh, for uh, the tutorial uh, were actually uh, very fast to to build since I, I know the technique and they are way better uh, I was way more um, efficient and it the result is way better uh, than the first time I tried so there you go. I've also done these two uh, prows, so uh, for the front and the back of the ship, and I'm gonna put them there uh, in front. I'm gonna show you how I did it, and I'm also going to record it. I'm gonna use the footage of the live uh, from time to time to 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 be used in the tutorial. So as you can see, there's this prow there and the sides of the pro the way it's uh, it's glued there's space between the there are different thicknesses of this cardboard and the two uh, the two sides can actually uh, you know spread to give more amplitude to the the two sides of the ship and that's gonna enable us to uh, to put inside the to slide inside the the floor of the ship see so it's very convenient it's not very difficult to do you'll see the tutorial is pretty easy now of course this is just the structure there's a lot of time that has to be put if you want to do a good uh, pro a good head in the front of the ship and of course everything uh, else is to do the mast and the, the different uh, other parts of the ship um, but I'm gonna um, concentrate myself on first uh, finishing the ship and gluing it then we'll see what we do because there are several several things I want to do. I could start doing the front, real front of the ship with the, the dragon head. Yeah, I can see the chat. Time, uh, welcome. 
You can't see it, or is it a question? Yeah, I can see the, the chat, right. So when you speak, I can uh, I can respond. So uh, I've uh, printed these uh, dragon heads, so I, I could actually um, do the, the head. That's what I was going for. But I might actually do other parts first, but I haven't printed stuff, so... So first what I'm going to do is definitely uh, assemble uh, these different parts of the ships and um, and when we'll have that done uh, I'll probably end up um, uh, deciding which part I do next because uh, there's going to be a part at the back of the ship you know to, to uh, stir the ship so I could build this there's a central part where the mass is going to be fixed, so I could build this too. Maybe I should wait to do the head uh, later. It could be the like the end of the craft, you know. Obviously, the last really cool thing to do is it will be the front of the of the ship. So, um, so first, definitely, I'm gonna I'm gonna glue uh, this together. That's the main uh, the main objective. See. So first, what I gotta do is uh, I gotta glue this first uh, try, let's say, of the shape that I did before. So if I'm not if I'm correct. I've got yeah, I haven't glued them yet. So first, I gotta do this. So I had this, that, and isn't there for? Third part. So here you can see uh, how I assembled the, the front part of the ship. There's supposed to be four of them, so I still need to cut the last one. Uh, I'd say it's smaller actually than one millimeter. No, yeah, you're right. It's about one millimeter. Yeah, it is. It's some uh, some cardboard I um, I scavenged from from work, you know. Uh, I think it came in with uh, paper, you know. Uh, these slides were like uh, between uh, paper uh, stacks, I think. So I use them pretty often at work, uh, and I I got many of them, so. They're pretty useful and way easier to use than coffee stirrers to get these kind of bands and this kind of uh, unique big pieces. So uh, they're neat. So for the yeah, for the the flat part, I used uh, coffee stirrers, but for uh, the sides, uh, I tried using uh, this. It works pretty well. It's not finished, of course. Uh, first, I had tried in case you guys weren't there in the previous lives. I tried with um, actual coffee stirrers using uh, hot water and uh, and glue. It actually works, but uh, it's way longer. This is gonna be way easier for you guys if you wanna if you guys want to, to try it out and do a long ship. The the cardboard is a an easier uh, choice. That's why I picked it instead of uh, pursuing with the uh, with the wood for the sides. So I got this one that is going to be used for the front of this ship. I've got two of them for this ship. I'm going to keep them for later, and I'm going to do what I'm missing. So oh yeah, there no it, it ain't. I'm just missing one part here to finish this one. I'm going to finish this one before doing the other, obviously. Uh, the best glue. Well, I'm using some wood glue right now uh, for because uh, I used it both for the the wood and I also use it for the cardboard you could use some white glue also now I'm not sure we got the same uh, kind of wood glue I don't know from where you guys are but I'm gonna wait here from uh, the States now I live in Europe so I'm not gonna give you any uh, brand because you're probably not gonna find it in any case the wood glue I have the white glue I have here is pretty common and it ain't that good anyway so I'm gonna use this uh, this wood glue. It's good. Works very well. 
and I'm gonna build the last pro because I'm missing still a pro so these are the right size right this ain't this not good so I'm missing two two pieces so I'm gonna use this as a template obviously there you go I'm gonna check because uh, I'm not recording yet it's okay I'm just streaming nice because I'm gonna record when uh, when I'll do the next uh, steps these steps have already been uh, uh, recorded for the, the tutorial I'm still unsure as I as how I'm gonna do the rest of the ship I have some ideas but I'm not entirely uh, certain shouldn't be too difficult though I'm gonna find an easy way to do a pro head I'll try to do something fancy for my ship but I'll try to do, to find a, a nice easy way to do it without you know sculpting too much I'm definitely gonna sculpt mine but I'll first find a way to do it out of cardboard with nice effect for some of you guys who might not want to um, to actually uh, sculpt stuff you know out of uh, epoxy or out of uh, green stuff or or whatnot PVA glue yeah PVA glue I use is this uh, I'm not even sure if it's PVA vanilla glue but uh, it's French stuff cheap stuff it ain't that good look it has settled so it ain't even that good but it was cheap but it works uh, just it doesn't become transparent so it's kind of a pain in the ass when you want to harden crafts often I use a mod podge when I want to harden them sometimes I use this this glue mixed in with acrylic if I want something more uh, sturdy when I do the base coat of some pieces but for this I'm just gonna use a uh, wood glue it's gonna be fine hey Victoria Tiembropa hey nice well welcome on the stream you can see I'm still going on the, the Viking ship I've done another one as I said before for a tutorial purpose so I'm first gonna finish assembling the first one then I'll be assembling the second one here and there's also this big ass ship <laughs> I'm not gonna do it right now uh, I'm gonna do it another day I don't even think I'm gonna need it that soon because I'm currently hosting a game uh, a Viking team game that's why uh, I'm actually doing this tutorial we actually need some Viking ships in our home game but I won't be needing the huge ones but having two medium ships is gonna be great I'm also gonna do small size boats for like holding maybe up to four or maximum five miniatures this one these ones are gonna be big though but well, they're gonna be decently big. If you want the scale, get the ship right there. And you got a miniature here. There you go. Is everything thing all right? Um, like is the sound uh, at the same time from the image? Because I see everything but with a slight um, latency. So I wanna be sure that everything's uh, understandable. So there you got the the size uh, with the miniature. So what's nice is that from the side you can see that we can actually see uh, the character. You can actually see the miniature standing pretty well from the sides. Now of course on the front we're not going to see him. It's rather normal. But there are going to be some some slight platforms at the the front and at the rear of the the ship that are going to be interesting uh, gameplay wise and also pretty historical because you can find uh, such uh, elevations at the front or the back of many Viking ships there's also going to be many elements that we can add or change I told you about the, the pro head that are going to be removable uh, this is as much historical as actually uh, convenient in gameplay because by removing the head and putting another head you can basically transform the same ship in virtually another ship um, also it's a historical because most um, heads of the prowess were actually removable for several reasons 
Uh, the mast, I'll make sure it to be removable, maybe with a magnet too. I'll see, I haven't decided yet. Uh, for the, uh, let me think. Now the, um, the sail is gonna be removable. There are, I wanna do two types of sail, one with the sail all rolled up uh, uh, and one with the sail um, uh, let loose. I wanna do some add-ons with shields here and a rows of ores so I'm still not sure on how I'm gonna handle the ores but I know that the the shield I'm not, ju not just gonna put them like for standing all the time uh, on the side of the ship because I want this ship to be able to be used also um, if you want to do like maybe a cargo ship or something like that in that case you won't have any shields it doesn't make any sense so I want to do a piece once the piece is gonna be hardened maybe even painted I'm gonna do pieces that can be added on you know uh, on top like squeezed on top with a, like a, a row of shields not sure about the ores though maybe I'll use the same technique maybe I'll drill holes and put ores like individually but that it, you know it's takes too long on the game table during gameplay you want to be fast so and you know pieces could go flying everywhere so I think I'm gonna add something like you know uh, an add-on that you can actually put set on top of the ship uh, what else is gonna be removable well that's mostly it then again the the rudder at the the back of the ship is gonna be movable uh, to give a sense of, of motion so if uh, the, the the players want to uh, and the characters choose to you know to to make the ship rotate uh, you'll have a nice uh, visual uh, showing on the model that the ship is actually turning so this is gonna be cool and that is mostly it uh, the rest uh, there's no need for anything else by the way you know the rest is just things that you can add on cargo like mini crates or something like that uh, chests there were there were some 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 sitting uh, rows sometimes but most of the time there were actually chests on which uh, the Vikings sat and in which uh, they put their stuff so basically it's gonna be it uh, there's gonna be yeah the rudder at the back uh, the pro at the the front the so dynamic rudder uh, the head that's gonna be uh, changeable the mast that I think will be removable but honestly I'm not even sure it's necessary but the sail is definitely gonna be removable and that's and then the atoms on the sides like shields and oars and then it's pretty much done so it's gonna be a pretty nice tutorial I'm sure it's gonna be pretty uh, it's not that difficult to do once you have the technique honestly it's it might seem difficult when you see the the build but really it's pretty easy once you get the the grip on how the this system can be done easily my first attempt here it's a bit slobby you see but the the ones I did like two days ago are impeccable well not impeccable but they're they're a lot neater so you just need to be uh, to be precise I wasn't very precise because I was experimenting with the first one so it's a bit jaggy it's not even but it'll do just fine but it's not that difficult this is super easy to do just takes a little while but then again you can use a, a chosen to do like separate uh, parts glued individually then again it can go fast if you have the if you have the the trick then again you can just glue you know uh, straight uh, the coffee steers uh, using the whole length it'll be super fast so yeah uh, yeah 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 so we're gonna do this so first what I did was I I I cut the part that was overhanging like that yeah, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. So, hey, Turn Hardy. Uh, hey, Cat Roger. Uh, thanks. Yeah, it's it takes a bit longer than just you know um, cutting into uh, into foam, but it gives a nice effect, the scaling effect. And once painted, I sure hope it'll look very good. Uh, I thought about texturing. Uh, you know with um, so I could texture individually and I might end up doing it with an exacto knife but it'll take a very long time and I'm not really sure it'll give a very realistic appearance uh, now I'm going for something rather realistic if I can because my miniatures are pretty realistic 
So I'm going for something a bit realistic and I'm not sure actually scoring uh, the wood will be realistic because usually it was very, um, you know, um, uh, the wood was uh, worked so it wasn't rough wood. So I might just do, you know, a little uh, stairs, a little um, marks uh, to get the, the sense of, uh, of the wood uh, but with paint actually. I'm not sure I'm gonna actually uh, use uh, the exacto knife. I could have used. Uh, I thought about using and tried on this cardboard these type of um, metallic brushes. Sometimes you gain time. You can use this on foam, but it doesn't really work with that cardboard. It tears it up. It's uh, you know the cardboard has been uh, it's compacted. It's cellulose that is compacted. So when you use uh, metallic brush, it actually tears up the cardboard. So I'm not going to use this technique, and I think I must just use uh, the like um, shit. Um, sorry, <laughs> I'm looking for words. A brush, you know, a thick brush to do some effects when I'm painting it. So okay, S uh, quit talking. Let's do some work. So, so the brows are made are of uh, four pieces assembled together, and two of them are larger to get this effect, you know, to be able to spread uh, and be glued on the uh, on the on the sides of the ship. So first, I'm gonna cut this because I almost forgot. So I'm gonna eyeball it. I think should be about this. I'm gonna eyeball it, but it's okay if I do a mistake because I can always cut further. I think I have to cut more. Not even sure though. Let's see. Looks pretty good already. I'm gonna cut slightly, cut a little more. So, wait. Don't wanna do any mistake because once it's cut, it's pretty much <laughs> cut, you know. So, if I fuck it up. Well, it, it's actually pretty good already, right? Am I... Like, it's pretty symmetrical, right? We're not looking for a huge... Uh, we don't have a huge difference there. It's pretty well... Yeah, it's good. It's pretty symmetrical. So I'm going to go for this. And on the other side, I'm going to go for something similar for it to be symmetrical. I could cut with um, the knife, but I'm going go with this. So it's not exactly the same height. See, that was the first one I built, and that wasn't very symmetrical with the two sides. The other ones are way better because this is my first attempt. Hey, I'm experimenting, guys. I'm just like just like you. But yeah, the version I did for the I redid for the tutorial is way better. So this one's going to be a bit more sloppy, but I'm not even sure it's going to be very uh, visible on the the end results. So I'm not too concerned. Yeah, looks pretty nice. Yeah. Hey, uh, Frankie D. Crafter and El Viejo Sargento. So many of you guys out there. We're 13. Oh my god. This is actually pretty much the largest public I think I had in life. Maybe not, but definitely on the top. Uh, Shit, where's the other, the piece I... Yeah, okay, there it is. Okay, so two of them are going to be shorter. So I'm going to take the shorter ones already. The ones that aren't the same size, because as usual I did some crap when I cut. So this one's smaller, it's going to go in the middle. And this one's smaller, it's going to go in the middle as well. So these ones are going to be smaller. Let's do this. So there you go. I'm eyeballing it, but for the tutorial, I'll be way um, 
way more uh, precise for you guys to to know how to do it easily. It's not very complicated though. Yeah, it's a party out there. Hey, Damon. Welcome. Welcome on the chat. So nice. So as I said, I'm using some wood glue. I could actually cut a little more. Let me check. Yeah, I'm going to cut more. Because I want it to fit. What's good with this uh, cardboard is you can also, uh, you know, use a nail file. And there's very little I have to remove. So the different sides that are actually uh, glued together, I can use, uh, if I'm correct at least. I tried and it seemed like it worked. First I have to find my goddamn nail file. And of course I can't find it for the life of me. Because it's under so much crap right now. I'm so messy. I mean, I had this work table. Uh, you don't see it because it's off camera, but I had this table like cleaned up, and this one's way too has been used way too much. I'm not sure it's gonna work. But let's see. See what you can actually do is smooth it out uh, the different card pieces together and I can always you know add up at the end um, some paste of kind now it'll give the impression of wood but I can get something that's more even see and we won't have this effect of several pieces glued together at least that's what I'm going for hope it works still experimenting right so this works rather well see see what I mean Smooth it out. Works pretty well. So we're gonna glue these pieces together. And I'm losing using some wood glue because it's very fast to set. And it works. There you go. It's a bit more expensive than PVA glue, but Come on, it's not that expensive. And with the time we're spending, honestly, sometimes, you know, with the time we spend on on, uh, on tabletop uh, pieces, like nice ship, that we're gonna use uh, for a pretty long time on in gameplay, at least I know I'm gonna use it for quite some time, because I know I like the Viking setting, and we're gonna definitely need ships for more than just one um, encounter, uh, you know, Sometimes it's good to use some some good materials, and and not always go for cheap, even if it's you know just wood glue. But we spend enough time uh, crafting and using these in gameplay. Sometimes just you know use good stuff. So uh, I'm not doing any mistake, right? No, of course I'm not. Pretty easy stuff for now. <laughs> I've already done this on three occasions since this is the last four, fourth piece. Yeah, I guess messy is the pretty usual amongst crafters, but some of us are more messy than others, and I'm definitely the very messy one, even if you don't see it on image, because I got this space pretty much cleared out. So <laughs> if you see some stuff on the, yeah, you do see some stuff on the working area. Well, you guys know uh, this is the only place uh, on the on my actually uh, on my working uh, table that is actually uh, pretty uh, cleared. The rest is uh, just chaos. And considering that I have actually uh, put a bit of order before beginning this craft because it was completely overcrowded with uh, with stuff. Um, so there you go, one side, see, larger, because it's going to be able to bend and glue on the sides of the, the ship. And uh, the last one, 
then I mustn't forget. You know what I should bring? I should actually bring uh, some water because I'll forget this brush and I used some glue on it so I don't want it to to sell and basically ruin the the brush because I did that just a few days ago because I forgot about the brush that was hid hiding uh, uh, under some pile of shit so so I see being messy is quite usual but sometimes <laughs> you end up throwing out uh, brushes because of this I hate that it was a bad brush but either way it's not it's not reason okay so now we got ourselves the back of the ship I'm gonna get uh, just something to put the the brush in with some water so it won't at least it won't dry out I'll be back too much water. I want to avoid any spillage. Okay, so and another good thing with wood glue is it actually sets real fast. Uh, it sets faster than than uh, PVA glue, I think. At least that's what I saw with this wood glue. Then again, it's axed and it's a fairly good uh, brand. So um, one can expect it to be efficient right okay so I'm gonna wait just the first few uh, few seconds for it to, to, to cure correctly and uh, then we'll glue it we'll glue it then we'll trim a little bit this first ship I did so this but it's pretty good maybe I'll have to cut a little more, more from the front and the from the back I'll see uh, so yeah see it's not symmetrical and that bothers me like one side is higher than the other it probably won't show once I've glued it but I I don't like this kind of crap I don't like when it's not even I'm a perfectionist and for this one I want a bit off roads you know Trying to experiment, and I was a bit sloppy. I hate that. Uh, okay, so I don't have the patience to wait, so I'm actually gonna glue it. I'm just gonna wait afterwards a little bit to make sure it's cured before I actually. Uh, oh yeah, wait. So, so here, here's what we're gonna do. See, I pull aside the flaps. Because these are actually flaps. Look at that. Yep. And this will give a slight curve to the front of our boat. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Noise. Um. Actually, it wasn't necessary at all to do this because I can actually expand the flaps afterwards. But hey, so let's glue this. Let's do it. Oh, there you go. So, you guys are quite numerous out there 12 of you guys, 14 now. Uh, what are you guys crafting these days? Come on, impress me. Are some of you uh, playing on a Viking setting uh, these days? Or just curious on how to do a longship? And 
I don't know where are you guys from. Uh, tell me about yourself. Okay, so. And it actually occurs pretty fast, so I must make sure that I don't wait too much. And I don't move it too much. Is that set properly? Yep, it is. How wonderful is that? Look at that. Looks nice and flat. Great. Looks good. Then the other side. So, am I good? Yeah. Okay. I don't mind if a little too much uh, of the glue is out of the board because it's gonna uh, it's gonna cure uh, clear, so I don't care. And it will harden, definitely harden the the cardboard. So yeah, rock and roll. So I'm gonna add just an extra bit of glue in there. Make sure it's hard and nice. There go. And here. So it's gonna clear out when it's dry and I'll create a better bond. There you go. Oops. More of it there. Okay, and now I'm gonna use these super cute um, tweezers. How do you call that? Anyway, these are super cute. My dad offered me them. Offered me them. That's not English at all. You got the idea. He's always got some some cool stuff. Always, always find some cool stuff. Okay, so that's pretty good, pretty flush, right? I'd say. So these aren't very powerful, but it's actually great for what I'm doing because I don't want it to crush the cardboard. So pretty, and the best thing is you can actually set it this way. Right, wait a second. Oops, I'm gonna use just the last one. There you go, and look, I can set it this way. Looks like a weird, weird ass centipede. I'm just gonna wait a few minutes. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna just wait idle. I'm gonna trim this a little bit, try to find the nefa that I was using. Okay, so you guys said, uh, oh shit, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in the in the chat. Okay, so um, do 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 do. Uh, uh, ah, thanks, uh, thanks, Blopa, that's nice. Uh, Damien, a uh, why? Cool. I'm a crafter and tall ship sailor, so I love watching people craft roads. Man, you probably have some advice for me then. <laughs> it's actually the first boat. I think it's actually the first. Yeah, it is. It's the first boat I actually craft. But I, I know the longboats pretty well. It's not going to be a realistic uh, longboat from, you know. It's just going to be a good simulation of a longboat. There's not going to be half the pieces uh, that can actually be found on a longboat. You know, it's say, still for tabletop RPG. But thanks. I'm um, crafting modular castle inspired by Dwarven and Forge. Cool, cool. I think I saw some of your latest craft. You did modular. Uh, I haven't been on your channel for quite some time. I see you made a few uploads, uh, Blopa, and I saw some 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 modular stuff you did on. Um, but it was um, how do you call that? Um, buildings. So I don't know if it's your castle. Maybe it's new pieces you've built. I'm just texturing up wow and normal kid. Hey, everyone's doing crafting, cool. Uh you Google to see how they look. you Let's look at this. Oh 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've actually researched a lot uh, on uh, how do you call that uh, in English? Uh, these kind of tombs. Um, in French, it's tumulus. Tumuli. Uh, in any case, yeah, those tombs. Uh, I've actually re researched quite a lot on these. There are many in England and uh, also in Scandinavia and, and in other places in Europe. Uh, because uh, this setting is going to be used uh, during uh, the the actual uh, RPG we're doing, it's going to be uh, there's going to be a crypt, and as it's you know set in a like ninth century uh, Viking age, even if it's you know um, fantasy, there's going to be a historical uh, content you know setting. Uh, so I, I actually want my uh, my crypts to look like actual uh, Viking and and pre-Viking uh, tombs. Because these these are often even older, way older than Viking Age, but I'll definitely use them, and they'll find some you know some, some skies and, su and such. So um, I'm definitely gonna use these. Thanks for your share. Um, there are photography clamps. Yeah, photography clamps. How about that? Probably they are. Yeah, maybe. Sure. Ah, uh, well, Frankie, crafting things for more than more. Used to hold a for the background. Okay. Crafting a couple of siege towers from cardboard and wood. Nice. So building boats. Looking to gain some confidence here. It's fairly easy. Uh, there's going to be the tutorial on my channel. Uh, maybe in a week or so. Uh, I think the ship is going to be rather fast to build. As I told the others, uh, latest lives I did. Um, I'm almost over with work for some time, gonna be a vacation and the next week uh, I, I don't have as much work lately like these uh, past uh, weeks, like the past week that's why I was able to do some lives and the next week uh, so I'm gonna be able to work on this tour and hopefully I'll be out in maybe a little over one week not even short, maybe I'll even have time to, to, to put it before uh, or in you know one week, one week and a half uh, max uh, you'll see that it's it's pretty easy. You can do it. You can do it very easily with very few material. If you are, if you can uh, stumble upon upon this kind of uh, of cardboard, but I'm sure you can find slightly uh, thicker cardboard. It could work, but you definitely gotta find something that's pretty flexible, though, easy to cut. Uh, but it could actually be done with something else, I guess. And it's fairly easy to do. This part is super easy. It's a bit long, but actually, when you get the the hang of it, it's actually pretty fast. The first one I took some time because I was talking at the same time. The second one I did, I wasn't doing on camera or in live, and I did it in like no time actually. You'll see on the tutorial. I'm still unsure as how long it will take to make the prows or the, the different add-ons I want to put on the ships, on the ship. But uh, I'm not sure it's gonna. It's definitely not gonna be a huge craft like a like when you're building a, a building or something like that it's gonna be way easier but I'm still unsure as how to do the the sale I have some ideas but I'm not certain I'm not sure I, what I do so um, I'm, I'm definitely going for uh, the, the best looking most efficient and easiest way to craft with cheap material so I'll see what I can find but the 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 goal here like in many other crafting channels is to do uh, more with less and with easy technique sometimes you know the early builds I did uh, some were really nice and I tried to do some some nice explained tutorials but some pieces you know so, some crafters were a bit um, found them very nice but thought they couldn't do it it's a mistake of course because I'm sure they they could but uh, here it's gonna be I'm fine I'm trying to find a way to make a very good looking uh, ship I hope <laughs> with a very easy uh, technique that anyone could reproduce very easy at least that's my uh, my goal um, yeah burial mounts I think that's what you call them in French it's uh, tumulus, uh, uh, tumuli or tumulus uh, funéraire so yeah it's, that's mostly it okay so I'm not sure it's completely set so uh, cure, cure. So I'm, I'm not gonna remove the clamps yet, because if I do, sometimes you know I'm a bit eager, and that's when you remove it too early, and you know you're trying to to spread the, the the thing and it breaks, and there you're feeling rather stupid. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes. 
still and during that time what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna uh, trim if I find this damn nail file of course like the one that actually works so in case you guys weren't there in the live last uh, live oh, damn it so messy I uh, used this um, as a reference uh, but then again it's not exactly the right scale right because there are going to be some other pieces that are going to be uh, necessary to, bu to, be, to build to craft uh, pieces here and as you can see there's some kind of intricate strange pieces here in the middle of the ship that was used to, to hold the mast and that was actually uh, movable well there, there were parts you know that you remove to, to remove the mast uh, so these posts here, here and there, there are two posts, and from this side they look more like this. So from this side they are just flat, but actually they have this shape. Whoa, that is not regular at all. But whatever. These were used both to set the oars on, as you can see here, and also to set the masts on the side. See, they are very widespread here. So the idea was to set the mast between them with the, um, the sail all wrapped up. So I'm gonna try to build these to have the to be able just for you know nice render on the tabletop. If let's say they're on, in a port or something like that, you know on docks, to 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 be able to set the the ah, shit the the part of the mast that has the sail on on the side. So the, the sail is actually going to be removable. Maybe the mast is all also, because it could be fine to, to make a broken mast also for gameplay. But I'm not even sure I'm going to make a, a removable mast. Maybe. The sail is definitely going to be removable. And then we'll do this, the, the rudder at the, the back end. Maybe I'll do the rudder before I do... Um, I'm probably going to do either this piece first or the rudder. Then I'll do the mast, obviously, and the sail these little thingies here that are gonna be super fast to do and then we'll do uh, we'll finish with the the best you know the, the the final piece we'll do the the head of the <laughs> of the ship <laughs> right um, okay so I still haven't found my nail file and it really looks like a that's the old one. These are actually from my girlfriend. <laughs> but I used most of them for crafting. Um, and of course they look just like um, popsicle sticks or, you know, coffee stirrers or card, uh, cardboard uh, bits. So they're pretty hard to to find once you have a little bit of a mess on your table so and I think it's the last one I actually have so that's kind of a bummer and the other one is so damaged and used that I'm not sure I can use it to trim no, I'm gonna try because it's the only one I can actually find uh, The idea is to have something pretty smooth. Just rounding out the, the edges, because there's going to be some small gaps, but it's no issue. I'll put some glue and maybe some s very small parts of uh, wood, of um, coffee stirrers. Once I have set the, the, the walls of the ship, the sides of the ship on it. So it's no biggie if there are some small uh, gaps. I'll find a way to And as I said the other day when I was doing a live, uh, crafting again feels so good. I hadn't really crafted for a month actually. I did some miniature painting but I didn't have time or 
the mo either time or motivation to, to craft, and I really missed it. See here, I'm lacking a small piece of wood. There's a slight gap there, but it's, it's all right. It's fairly symmetrical. Ain't perfect, because I'm no mathematician. Mathematician. And I think it's gonna be cured, so we're gonna be able to, to, to stick it on it. So I think I'm gonna use some wood glue to stick it. And then afterwards I plan to, to use some, some some backing. So I'm not gonna use this, but I'm gonna use some backing underneath to have something actually nice to see. It's it's pretty um, optional, but I wanna do it. And completely symmetrical, but is it really an issue? That's okay, man. Go to sleep. <laughs> Watch tomorrow, okay? It's alright, man. Do your stuff. Get some sleep. See you, Blopa. See you around. That sounds weird. Right there. Okay. So I guess is it's as good as it gets. Maybe not. Yeah, it is. Should quit doing such details. I'm such a perfectionist. Okay, should be nice, right? Am I removing the clamps? Dare I remove the clamps? <gasps> okay, now we'll see if the glue had time to, to set. I hope. Did it set properly? Yes, it did, mostly. See? Kind of works. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, it works, but not that well. Okay. Should wait some more. Because you see it. Oh, it's not really an issue, is it? No, it's no issue. Because it's got to spread, you know? So now the, the question is will it spread enough? Or must I remove some, some wood from the. Because. <laughs> I'm not that pre that precise of a of a miniature builder, and as I said, it's actually the first ship I built. So yeah, I'm not sure as if it's the right size. No, it isn't. Not at all. Shit, that actually sucks. That actually sucks. Okay. Well, 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 Mr. Long Vader, you're fucking stupid. You're fucking stupid. Damn. Damn me. How can I find a solution? What can I do? I could spread it more. But if I spread it more, I have even less length. That sucks. Bubbles. Okay, so let me think. I think I'll have to trim. I have no other option, right? 
Damn, damn, damn. That's kind of weird, because when I take the measures to do the size of the ship, it fit well. Oh, somebody's home. So it was... Oh, I know why. Shit, that was stupid. I know why. Hey, my puce. Ça va? Yeah, it's cool. It's better at the middle. So... I know why. Problem is that I cut the half part here to get the this round effect. And it actually shortened the, the piece. Damn it. I got stupid. I got stupid. Well, I definitely had to, to have this round uh, front of the ship, but now I have to find a way to make this ship, this floor fit, and... Shit, shit, shit. How am I gonna do that? Because I like the curve of the ship, you know. I don't want to remove too much of the floor first, because it took some time to do it. And also, uh, there's a lot to remove also. That is pretty bad. That is pretty bad news. See, a, there's quite s a lot of it that is missing. Now maybe what I could do is thin it, cut it shorter here. Okay, I'm gonna take a risk. Let's be brave. I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna cut this shorter. There you go. Shorter here too. There you go. And I'm gonna cut just... Hey man, this is risky, but it won't fit anyway, so... I gotta find a way. This is so approximative. Uh, I think the the next pieces I built for the other uh, ship, I thought about it, and I did them slightly longer than needed. And I think I was pretty inspired to do this because hopefully I won't have the same issue with the uh, the other ship. What's nice with the um, the coffee steers is they are so uh, soft you can cut them with a nice you know sharp blade you don't need any, any uh, uh, cutting pliers or anything like that I could use them but so let's see if this already works or if I have to remove more or make it thinner I'm trying to deal with my shit right now now there's no not much that is missing now See, just there's a slight over and I want to fit this inside of the ship. There's very little left to remove, but I'll definitely have to thin the ground down. Hey, I ain't no machine, right? And I definitely did not do the math before properly. That's the issue when you're experimenting. You can have good surprises, and then again, you can have uh, bad surprises. So I'm gonna thin this. Nice thing about the cardboard, though, it's that it's pretty. Um, uh, I won't say. Uh, yeah, it's pretty flexible. So I have, if I do it short enough, I have some. How do you say? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't find my words. I'm not that fluent. I can speak, but uh, I've got some shit. Uh, whatever. I don't. I don't have to do something overly precise, but.
So I'm basically trimming, you know, millimeter by millimeter to get something that's the right size. And I must keep something fairly symmetrical. Good thing is it takes more time, but I should have something that looks more, uh, you know, more uh, nice. <sighs> something that looks more evasive for the Viking ship. Ça a été l'installation pour le bal des troisième là. Ah ouais Là t'as fini Ah c'est cool Cool Parle pas trop fort, s'il te plaît. Parle pas trop fort. Non, 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 bah non, je te parle, mais je suis toujours là. Non, mais tu peux me parler, mais juste euh, crie pas quoi. Bah non. Sorry, I'm talking with the miss. Tu tu tu. Okay, so So I'm sorry, it's not actually the most uh, fascinating part of the craft. I didn't expect it to, to actually be to um Actually, I don't know why, but last time I tried, it actually uh, fit pretty well. But I hadn't shortened this part. This is big. It's because of the shortening of the the bottom of the ship that it doesn't fit anymore. No biggie. I'm unsure on how much I have to remove though, so... So I'm basically missing. Okay, I'm basically missing five millimeter, give or take. So either the floor gets real thin uh, width-wise, which is not an option. Either the ship gets a little uh, shorter. There's no other. There's no other option. Well, that sucks. I didn't expect this at all. Crap. I'm definitely adding this uh, consideration to the tutorial. Just to avoid... Uh, to make sure you guys don't fall in the same trap. You know. So we're gonna shorten it again, and I'm gonna try to get something because I still want it to be pretty, 
lengthy, you know, I don't want to give the impression it's fat. It's a fat boat. I mean, some of, some of the Viking ships were more fat, but they were more for uh, uh, trading and such. I want something that looks uh, pretty slender, you know. And I'm going to thin it a little bit. This is a slow advance. I hate that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I will cast Spirit Guardian at level four. Yep. I need to remove more wood. Now the length is good, but the thickness is way over the top. See you, Terran Hardy. Take care. See you later. I'm not sure I'm gonna. The the life is gonna. Um, last long because let's face it it's not the most interesting part <laughs> me trying to trim this piece uh, to make sure it fits in uh, besides uh, my lady uh, just came back from work so I'm probably not gonna you know keep up uh, playing the uh, asocial and uh, we're gonna grab something to eat or something like that spend some quality time time so and either way I have to do this before I start the rest and it's definitely not the most fascinating thing to, to watch me trimming down this piece for, for it to fit. So I'm basically gonna cut off the, the stream but I'll be back with a vengeance once I've actually found the way the right size to fit this into the side of the ship. Uh, so I'll be back uh, probably tomorrow, actually, uh, during the course of the day, to uh, to go on, and hopefully I'll have this figured out, and uh, I'll be able to to do the the next steps that are going to be way more interesting to watch than this forsaken setback. Okay, so uh, you guys take care for the six of you guys still out there seven uh and um I'll, I'll see you tomorrow i'm gonna try to to remove what's uh what's uh on this piece to make sure it fits and tomorrow i'll be able to do the um, the rudder uh the mast uh, it's gonna be pretty fast they're they're mostly uh, very easy pieces to do um and uh and yeah later on i'll do the add-ons and the the pro head so i say a goodbye and see you soon for another crafting adventure on lone vader slayer and you guys stay crafty craft on your side build cool stuff and yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow and you can expect a tutorial in maybe a week or two see you